In this short video, I am going to explain why the possibility of Lando Norris joining Red Bull could finally expose the truth regarding the persistent issues of their second drivers, and why they always seem to underperform to expectations. If we look at the drivers who were in that Red Bull seat post Daniel Ricciardo, all of them have struggled, and it's now become a repetitive theme with that team. Each driver looked very promising before joining the team, to then looking poor or average while with the team, to then looking good again once they left, and it has many becoming slightly suspicious as to why this is. And in my opinion, if Lando Norris was to partner Max Verstappen, we would finally get our answer as to whether there is something fishy going on with Red Bull in that second seat, or whether these drivers have just failed to perform up to the high standards that the team requires. Lando Norris has cemented himself as a top-level caliber of driver and has been consistent enough to the point where the excuses and justifications as to why the other Red Bull drivers failed wouldn't apply to him. For example, with both Gasly and Albon, the excuse was that they were both inexperienced in the sport and that they were shoehorned straight into a top-level team, which apparently was too much for them to handle. However, regarding Lando Norris, the inexperience argument would not apply to him as he now has five years of F1 experience under his belt, and it would be expected that he knows the demands of what joining a top team would bring. And as for Checo, the experience factor isn't relevant to him as he's been in F1 for over a decade. However, the narrative around Checo's lack of performances in the Red Bull seat is not about inexperience, but that it is instead because he simply isn't good enough and that he is a top-of-the-midfield driver at best. But again, for Lando Norris, neither the argument regarding inexperience nor a lack of ability applies to him. And to further add, you can even make the argument that adapting to a difficult car shouldn't be a problem to Norris either, as he has recently come out and said that the McLaren car is quite a difficult car to drive, and that the car doesn't necessarily suit his driving style. So in this case, he should adequately adapt to the Red Bull car, even though we all know that it's designed heavily to Verstappen's driving preferences. Therefore, if the rumors are true and Lando Norris was to join Red Bull for either 2024 or 2025, I believe that we would finally get our answer as to what is going on with the Red Bull seat. If he fails miserably, then I think it's safe to say that something dodgy is going on, as Norris isn't a scrub and many classify him as being one of the best on the grid. But if Norris does perform and can challenge Verstappen, then it would highlight that nothing dodgy was going on and that the previous drivers just weren't good enough.